Welcome to the new Ultimate Reloader Studio. That's right, I've completely reconfigured my studio space and my shop space. I'm gonna give you a complete tour in this video, and what's more, we're gonna talk about a bunch of other really cool stuff that's going on as well, so buckle up. Gavin Goo here from ultimatereloader.com. I am thrilled. We've got multiple major milestones to talk about in this video. First, Ultimate Reloader made it to 200,000 subscribers. Thank you to all of the loyal subscribers that have been with me for the long haul. Thank you to all of the new subscribers that are with me. That 74% year over year growth in subscribers. If you're new to Reloading, got a lot more really cool stuff coming up and so, so much to talk about. The second big milestone, we've been heads down for about two weeks here at Ultimate Reloader, completely reconfiguring the shop space and completely building out this new studio. I took your feedback. A lot of you were saying things like, hey Gavin, your, your background is very cluttered. I can't really see the reloading press you're talking about. Well, that all changes now. We've got so much cool stuff. I also wanna show you some of the new people and cameras. This is one of the new cameras I just bought. This is a Canon EOS R6. It's full frame, it does fantastic image quality. I also want to introduce you to Alan. Everybody say hi to Alan. <laughs> Alan is the new cameraman. I brought him on in October and he's been doing a killer job. Alan also has some really cool capabilities here. A new cinema camera, Canon C200 lighting control in the studio. Should we give them the complete tour of the shop? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. So here I am in front of the shop. By the way, I did a full shop tour. You're gonna to wanna to check out that video, but lots of new stuff to show you. Come on inside. So much more space. So just for reference, I used to stand behind my bench right here, and we had a camera towards the front doors, and that gave us a lot of great flexibility. Uh, but by moving the studio area into the back corner, we're really able to control what's in the background. And I can even park my backhoe here in the shop. I can pull vehicles in and work on them, which is hugely, hugely helpful. Let's take a look at the actual studio area. So this is the same bench that you all are familiar with, the Ultimate Reloader bench system. I set up a press here, that's the RL550C, just to kind of show you guys what that's gonna look like. And we, I had a whole bunch of beetle kill pine that was milled in a bandsaw mill. And we were gonna use that for a different project. It didn't dry out in time for that project. And it was just absolutely perfect. These pieces are over 12 feet long and they're continuous. And of course, when you have a bandsaw mill and can do that kind of thing, I don't have one personally, but the guy that we had do it, uh, was able to mill it to 16 feet plus for some of the boards. And so we went over the gray wall that you guys are familiar with. That was another thing that some people complained about. Hey, you really like gray, don't you? You got the gray shirt, you got the gray background. Hey, can we get some color? <laughs> so I really like this. This is really kind of appropriate for the surroundings that we have here. And the fact that I'm up here in the mountains and is a great backdrop for the firearms for the reloading gear and for the people that are going to be in frame here. So that is kind of the new studio area. If we look up, we've got three studio lights that are controllable via a protocol called DMX. These are actually the same lights that I've been using for a while, but you'll notice that we got rid of the light stands. And for me, that's a huge issue. B camera shots, <laughs> really easy to get either tripods or light stands in that shot, it was kind of driving me nuts. And now we have the ability to position A, B, and C cameras wherever we want without having to worry about colliding with power, tripping over power cords and you know, getting uh, conflicts with where our lighting support systems were located. So uh, really excited about this. We have a lot more options and flexibility with how we shoot and light things. But I had to move a ton of stuff. Back here in the corner, I had an old Cincinnati horizontal milling machine. I sold that actually to Bat Machine. Funny enough, they're gonna use it for some, some uh, non-critical operations. Nice big 
heavy machine. The Precision Matthews PM949 TV, the big uh, precision mill used to be sitting right here. I just moved it kind of off to the next wall. Um, this is an absolutely awesome machine and now it's not kind of in the middle of the, the backdrop. The tooling cart it was moved with it. This Kearney and Trekker, this is a World War II era horizontal milling machine, was located on the other side where that tool cart is. We moved that out of the way. I sold the both the Cincinnati and the Warner Swayze number two. I did a restoration on that machine, which I published some details about on makingwithmetal.com. Uh, sad to part with it, but you have to make sacrifices to free up room. Over here, we took the Precision Matthews, Precision Lathe, the PM1440 GT, was sitting right about here. In fact, you can still see sort of the, the cutting oil on the floor where that was. So we kind of moved that over and sort of against the wall here. This is the same tooling cart that I had set up for it with all of my chucks all of my precision measurement tools, it just kind of all swung over against the wall, which is really awesome. It feels a lot more spacious and is gonna be a really great place for the precision rifle builds, which I'm definitely uh, excited about. Over here, if you recall from the original tour, this is the original Ultimate Reloader Studio where I did my first productions up here in the hills. This is, these are both 40 foot high cube containers. Uh, a little claustrophobic when you're in them, not really the best for filming, but better definitely than nothing. I just got an 80 gallon air compressor, an industrial air, really high CFM on that. And that's one of the other exciting things is, I've now got shop air. And I can, turn everything off from in here, for, obviously for while I'm filming, like right now. And I got a uh, three quarter inch max line. I've run max line all around the shop. I've got, let's see, how many stations for air do we have? One for the lathe, two above the bench, three by the mill, four by the other mill, five by the third mill, and we have an outside setup with a cord reel. How awesome is that? I can pull up my side-by-side -side or my backhoe and fill up the tires. So this is a total, total game changer. I'm able to park the backhoe in here. The mice and rats are not gonna be able to make nests on the engine like they did last year and the year before and the year before. And this space is so much more flexible for shooting videos and doing all sorts of other types of work. Totally, totally awesome. But this is just the start. What I wanna do is take you on kind of a driving and walking tour. We're gonna to see what's happening up on the mountain at the shooting ranges and over at the micro cabin. Let's do it. And here we are at what I call landing number one, L1. This is the new 100 yard range that you guys have been seeing in the videos for a while now. I just got it completed before the snow flew. I've still got some concrete under a tarp there from when we poured the slab. What's awesome about this range is the fact that we have better cover from the wind. When I'm up on the ridge line, we can get winds of up to 40 miles per hour up there. And as you know, that does not lend itself towards precision shooting. It might be good for training, for hitting targets on steel, but uh, when we're testing things, we need more control. So this is sheltered from the sun, which is nice in the summer, and it's definitely better sheltered from the wind. It's also closer to the shop. So if I'm doing anything where I need access to the shop for loading precision ammo or whatever, that uh, makes it really nice. And in terms of the facilities here, we've got a covered 100 yard shooting firing line and I haven't yet put together the bench but I'm planning a welded steel bench with a doubled up inch and a quarter plywood top so it'll be like a two over a two inch thick top laminated and uh, try that and compare it to the concrete bench that I did at the top of the hill 
Uh, but having the cover is great. It, we do get a fair bit of rain up here and what do we need to shoot when it's snowing or raining or even when the sun is a little bit extreme, that's great. There's also this covered roof area. And what I plan here is I have a small travel trailer built in 1962. And I plan to tow it up here and put it towards the back there under the roof. That will be kind of my break room slash reloading shack slash storage shed for here at landing number one. So this is L1, uh, still a construction zone. I haven't even put base rock down yet, but we're up to speed shooting here at 100 yards and it's a really great place for that kind of testing. Next, we're gonna go up to the ridge line. So I'll see you guys up there. All right, I thought on the way up, I had to stop and show you L4. This is landing number four. Totally awesome spot to come up, have a campfire, maybe have a picnic lunch, and then you can also shoot prone right here to about 650 yards over on that bluff. So this is one of my absolute favorite places to come with friends. I've never showed it on Ultimate Reloader before, so I thought it was a worthwhile stop on our way up to the ridge line, so let's make our way up there. Made it. Love hanging out up here. We're up on the ridge line. This is where I've got my 100 yard range and this is where we've got the micro cabin. I got a little something to show you. So power obviously is important when you're doing things like hanging out in the micro cabin or when you're using a precision reloading scale. And I, I'm gonna hit my remote control here, show you guys. New generator that starts remotely. We're gonna hit that. Take a look at the lights. Boom! Totally love it. So that is something that I totally love. It's late at night, you just wanna to go to bed, just hit the button and it goes off. All right, I'm gonna open the place up, we'll head inside. I got things ready in here, come on in. So you guys have seen the micro cabin before. I did the video building the bench. You're gonna to wanna to check that out. I did a full eight foot reloading bench in here. But uh, this is also just a great area to come and spend the night. Sometimes I shoot until late in the night. If, as you can see, I've got my uh, wardrobe department here. The whole vision that I had with this place was I wanted to be able to lay in bed in the morning make my coffee, you can see my hot beverage department over here, and just, just lay in bed and look at the panoramic scenery. And I'll tell you, the first time I did that, I absolutely felt like I was on cloud nine. So let's go back over to the bench area. So again, you guys have seen this bench in action. I have the complete RCBS Rebel kit set up up here, and I've got the Andy FX120i scale precision powder trickling set up here. And again, what's great about this setup is I can come up here, I can load a few rounds, I can shoot them at the 100 yard range, which is about 60 feet away to the shooting bench over there, and then see what the chronograph is telling me, see what the target is telling me, and then come back here. So for 2021, I'm gonna be up here a lot more. I mean, this is an absolutely great way to do this kind of shooting and research and to film it in the process. So, the micro cabin, one of my absolute favorite places on this planet. Let's go and take a look at the 100 yard shooting area and even the long distance PRS training ground. So, I'm actually going to walk over to the bench with you all to show you just how close it is, which is totally awesome. <laughs> this was my goal when I started developing the ridge line up here and it's really turned out just how I wanted. So here we are at the bench, 
and you can see behind me the 100 yard backstop back there and it makes for very very efficient load development and shooting workflow which is totally awesome let's go make our way towards the 100 yard target now here we are at about 75 yards from the bench and this spot is my prone prs shooting spot we've got targets down this way at about 198 yards and then we've got 330 400 660 and 700 yards so this is a really really great place to do that kind of shooting and here we are at a place that i like to affectionately call the beach behind me you've got the thousand yard targets and there's three of those an electronic target a 24 by 24 from dm targets and then I've also got a smaller 10 by 10. That is the absolute money shot when you can get it. And right down here, we have the 100 yard backstop. So the walk down here is a pleasant one for sure to come and retrieve targets. It's really convenient. I could even drive the side by side just about back down to the uh, 100 yard backstop. So I'm gonna make my way back to the micro cabin. So after seeing the new studio and the stuff I just showed you going on at the Ultimate Reloader Ranch, I hope you're as excited as I am about what's coming here on Ultimate Reloader for the rest of 2021. Some other things, it has been delayed multiple times, it's been painful, but the Progressive Press shootout is coming. I had to rescope things slightly because I'm not able to get all of the gear I needed for the original comparisons I had intended. I'm feeling some of the same pain that all of you have felt with these shortages. And a lot of my partners are prioritizing customers, which is absolutely awesome. I have to wait too. I've got some great rifle builds coming on. I recently onboarded both Fred Zeglin from 4D Reamer Rentals and Gordy Gritters, the world renowned bench rest, record setting gunsmith as partners. And I'm gonna be collaborating with them on projects. I'm going to have them here to the ranch. We're going to do some really, really cool stuff. I've also got some more scientific instruments coming on board, a recoil rig that I've been working on based on Cal Zant's design that he had on the Precision Rifle blog. We'll be able to take a look at how loads affect recoil, how different butt stocks affect recoil, muzzle devices, all sorts of really interesting things. And I've got the amp press coming from Annealing Made Perfect. I absolutely can't wait and this new studio is just going to make my life a lot easier it's going to allow me to do a lot more content for you all which is totally totally exciting again a huge thanks to everybody in the industry that has helped to make this possible a huge thanks to everyone out there in the community that's subscribed and watched and liked i really really appreciate it all right let's wrap things up i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the content I've got coming up. Also, links down in the video description. I'm on Patreon and I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. Any support that you show is most appreciated. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.